Today is our official model rocket launch day. And what does it mean? Well, it means exactly what it sounds like. The, um, it is our official launch day of our model rocket club here in Germany. We bring our self-built model rockets with us and we launch them, of course. And the special thing on this day is that we have an official launch permit which allows us to fly the rockets, the model rockets, higher than we usually can do, or I should rather say that we usually are allowed to do. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this event. The uh, club members just meet, we talk, we have fun, we launch our rockets, and I'm looking forward to this event, so let's rock it. This year there were some uh, very cool rockets at our launch day and a little spoiler, the rockets not only look good, they also flew very well. Here for example we have two rockets from a more experienced club member. The upper rocket is over 2 meters long and is powered by a big class I solid fuel rocket motor and we can uh, definitely look forward to the launches of these two rockets. Then we had this special rocket here and you can see that there was still a lot of work going on and the rocket was built by a team of students. I don't know exactly how many students were involved but there were around 8 to 10 people on site, so something around that. However, it was a special day because the maiden flight was to take place on that day. Accordingly, the students were of course a little bit excited and their pulse rate was adjusted upwards. But one thing at a time, there were of course other rockets like this one here, whose design I thought was very cool, and let's see how it goes. 4, 3, 2, 1... Schön. Geil. Komm. Sehr schön. Yes, I think a very nice actually sums it up very well, the launch, the flight and the landing of the rocket, which unfortunately was not recorded, were first class. There is really nothing you can say. Perfect. While we were already marveling at the first rocket launches, the students were busy preparing the rocket for the first flight. At the launch site, things got really serious straight away, as the large calibers were rolled out. Here we see a rocket over 2 meters long, powered by a fat eye motor. And we'll see whether this rocket penetrates the sky or just explodes at the launch site. Of course, we also have exclusive shots directly below the launch pad. I deliberately took the risk of giving the camera a roasted aroma, but you know how it is with me. Maximum effort, no expense or effort is spared. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. I have another treat for you, how about we take a look at the whole thing from above with a drone. The special thing about this shot is that you can actually see very clearly how the rocket's parachute is ejected. At the beginning of course we have the ignition of the rocket motor, followed by the thrust phase, then we have a let's say engine cutoff, a delay time and finally an ejection charge is ignited. This causes the rocket nose cone to be ejected and this in turn pulls out the parachute. You can see this very clearly here. It all worked perfectly. The launch, the flight and the landing of the rocket were carried out magnificently. 
From one brilliant performance to the next, you almost had the feeling you were part of the Chinese Olympic synchronized swimming team, but now the moment of truth has arrived. Will the rocket of the students top or flop on its first flight? I think you already heard it, that was of course a brilliant achievement, the takeoff, the flight and the landing went without a hitch. Congratulations! Das war wirklich ein fantastischer Start. Beide Starts der Raketen waren erfolgreich. Sowohl die Orange, die wir gesehen haben mit einem E-Motor, als auch der Jungfernflug der kleinen Rakete von den Studenten aus Augsburg. Und es war ein super Start, super Flug. Beide Raketen sind heil wieder unten angekommen. Also die Fallschirme wurden ganz normal korrekt ausgeworfen. Also wirklich super toll. The next rocket flew under the motto, all things come in threes. The action cam stayed at the front lines because it went on straight away. This flight was good also, so let's head to the next one. <laughs> Then it got really hot again with a rocket that wanted to enchant the audience. Once again, there are exclusive shots directly from the launch pad. We are right in the middle of the action. <laughs> Rapid was definitely the motto of this rocket, but it wasn't really the one we were expecting, but that doesn't matter. It's our video, so let's just use the video time machine and jump forward to the right time. That looks good. Let's try it again. Drei, zwei, eins. Der Hammer ist sauber. Wahnsinn. Kerzen gerade. 
Sehr schön. That was a very nice again. Once again, the takeoff, flight, and landing were simply heavenly. Here we have a rocket with a very interesting parachute system. First, a flutter tape, I hope it is actually called flutter tape in English, is ejected to slow down the rocket. Then the main parachute is ejected at a defined height. Very interesting. Let's see if everything works like this. Remove before flight. Danke. <lacht> Dann viel Glück. Danke. Drei, zwei, eins. Flatterband. Es fehlt noch der Hauptschirm. Da ist der Hauptschirm. Sehr gut. Danke. Finally, we have here uh, the launch and the flight of a fancy uh, rocket glider. And that's it for a few impressions of our rocket launch day of our club here in uh, Germany. Of course, there was more going on. We talked, we had fun, rockets were launched, and I ate what felt like almost a dozen grilled sausages. But I'll spare you these uh, scenes of gluttony. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time, guys, and don't forget to rocket. Start. Oh. Uh -huh.